In a couple of days, I'm gonna be leaving for a 10 day trip to London and Copenhagen. It's my first time traveling overseas since 2017 and I'm so excited. So in today's video, I thought I'd show you exactly what I'm packing and how I plan to pack light in a carry-on only. This is definitely going to be interesting because I'm packing for the middle of winter in places with two different types of weather. London is warmer some days going up to 15 degrees Celsius while Copenhagen is definitely gonna be colder. So I've definitely gotta be strategic. My goal here is to stay warm Warm, leave room for some thrifting, and still be able to live out my best fashion girly life. And I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Monos. I've been traveling with their Carry On Pro Plus bag for the last two years now, and I'm bringing my Metro backpack as my one personal item. So let's get packing. Whether I'm going away for a short time or a long one, I always make sure I pack pretty much the same every single time, and that's carry-on only. But just to make it easier for you and so you're never stuck without a toothbrush or a change of undies in your travels, I made this handy free packing checklist PDF, and I'll make sure to leave it for you in the description below. I used to be a major overpacker where just in case was my motto and more was always better. But the more I traveled, the more I realized how stressful overpacking actually is. I just found I never seemed to use most of what I brought, so I was just lugging around extra weight for no reason, not to mention having to pay extra for it. Since I started packing carry-on only, it's made traveling so much easier, trust me. It's cheaper, it's more lightweight, so you're not lugging around all this heavy stuff for no reason. And unless you have to gate check your bag, it usually means you can hop on and off the plane easily, so you're not stuck at baggage claim hoping that your bag shows up. All in all, it's just a lot less stressful and time efficient for me to pack carry-on only, so that's why I do it. So now that you know why it pays to be a carry-on only traveler, let's get into the bag. I'll be packing in the carry-on pro plus bag from Monos. I've been traveling with this bag for two years now and I gotta say it's legit. It's sleek, minimal, and has a ton of features that make it really easy to use. It's incredibly lightweight, so it's really easy to push and pull, and it's got 360 degree wheels so it moves around really smoothly. This extra front compartment is another great touch where it'll easily fit a 15 inch laptop and other essentials like your passport or AirPods. This bag will easily fit in the overhead bin for most major airlines, but just note that it may need to be gate checked on smaller planes, like the ones I may be taking around Europe. So just a heads up, and I'll make sure to leave the specs in the description below. As my one personal item, I always bring my Monos Metro backpack. I've been carrying this backpack with me pretty much every day since I got it, and it's held up great. I prefer the nylon bag because of all the commuting I do on Toronto Public Transit, but they also have a ton of sleek looking options made of vegan leather if you prefer a more fashion-y look. There's so many handy compartments and pockets, and everything's just really easy to use and even easier to access, which is great for when you're panicking to get all your stuff in the bin at the airport security. Plus, Monos is a Canadian company from Vancouver, which is sweet. Gotta love that local vibe. So if you're interested in checking out Monos, they gave me a code, Christine Macas, to save 10% off your order. You can check them out in the description below. Thanks, Monos. I am so excited for this trip. I haven't been to Europe or the UK since 2017, so this has been a long time coming. But there's three things I think about before I start packing. First is to consider the vibe of where you're going. So I'm gonna be traveling to London and Copenhagen. Both are really urban and kind of a city vibe. I'm gonna be doing a lot of walking. And since they're both fashion cities, I can also play around with that a little bit. As opposed to packing for something like a hiking trip or going to the beach, that way I can really just eliminate certain things from my packing list right away. The next thing you always wanna make sure you know is what's the weather gonna be like when you're there. So what's gonna be a bit challenging about my packing this time is that I am gonna be in these cities in the middle of winter. It is definitely a lot warmer than here in Canada, but I have to think about versatile layers and what I can bring with me that takes up the least amount of space, but still keeps me at the maximum amount of warm. London is gonna be anywhere between 10 and 15 degrees Celsius during the day while we're there. It may also rain, so I have to think about that. And Copenhagen will still be mild anywhere between like three and seven degrees Celsius, but I'm still definitely going to need to layer up. And finally, you always wanna consider your itinerary. So what exactly are you gonna be doing on your trip? For us, we don't have it really planned out to a T. We do have some meetings, some lunches. We're gonna be filming some videos and recording podcasts, but I also wanna do a lot of walking around. I wanna visit museums, do some sightseeing, and I wanna go to the gym because I'm on the gains train and we're not getting off even while we travel. I'm dedicated, okay? I'm dedicated to growing the booty. And since I have such a limited amount of space, I really need to make sure that the clothes and the shoes that I choose really serve multiple purposes. Versatility is key here. 
So now that you know the vibe of where you're going, the weather, and what you're gonna be doing, it's time to start thinking about what clothes you want to bring with you. I'll be packing using the 54321 method. This has been a life-changing method for me that I talked about in my previous packing video. So if you wanna see it a little bit more in depth, definitely check that out. But if you wanna break this method down, it's essentially packing five tops, four bottoms, three pairs of shoes, two layering pieces, one piece of outerwear, and then your other singles like pajamas, purses, toilet trees, things like that. Always remember that this packing method is a guideline, so modify it as you need to. If you love to wear dresses, swap out some pants for those. And if you need more of something, just add it if you have space. All right, so let's get packing. So when you're thinking about what clothes to bring with you, instead of thinking about what kind of outfits you can come up with, try thinking about your clothes as tools instead. As in, what purpose does it serve when you're getting dressed? This has helped me so much when it comes to thinking about what I want to pack and in versatility because I tend to pack the pieces that are my tried and true. And if you're not quite sure what that means, just think about how you use certain items of clothing in your closet. If you wanna feel more casual and relaxed, then you might grab a cotton t-shirt, a pair of jeans, or a pair of sneakers. But if you wanna feel a little bit more elevated and refined, you might go for a pair of boots, maybe a darker wash denim jean, or a blazer. So I like to think about my packing from that perspective and that way I can pack more of my personal style rather than trying to stuff a bunch of different outfits into my suitcase. This is where I find you can really fall into overpacking. All right, so let's get packing. So for the actual clothes, I'm going to be packing one plain white tee, one plain black tee because I like to party, one cotton tank top, one navy bodysuit with a deep V so it can be worn a little bit dressed up and dressed down if I want to. And then this really interesting modern top that I recently got with shoulder pads that I'm gonna be wearing on more formal nights out. For bottoms, I'm gonna pack four pairs. One I will be wearing on the plane though. So I'm gonna be packing one pair of black jeans, this one really cool pair of indigo denim, one pair of navy dressier trousers, and then this green pair of track pants that I'll probably wear on the plane. When it comes to actually folding my clothes, I swear by packing cubes. They are so handy to keep things organized and you can fit so much more in there than you might think. When it comes to folding my t-shirts and tanks, I do it the same way every time. I kind of do a hybrid between a roll and a KonMari fold. It's really quick and really easy. Essentially, all you need to do for a t-shirt is just grab either side of the collar and then fold the shirt in on itself so that it just falls naturally into place. Clean it up the way you need to and then I just fold it in half and then fold it in half again once more. And you'll see that it turns into this bricky little shape and they all are roughly the same size. And then I just put them in my packing cube vertically so I can see exactly what I have. Tank tops and bodysuits are a little bit trickier, but all I do is just fold the sides of the tank in towards the middle and then fold again in half and then half once more. And again, we have our little brick. When it comes to bottoms and pants, I pretty much do the same thing. I just fold the pants in half and then take this little part that sticks out and fold it inwards to keep everything clean and neat. Fold the pants in half up until you hit about this line if you're folding a pair of denim. Then fold it in half from there and then one more time. And there you have it. If your trousers are more of a wide leg silhouette, you might need to do a little bit more finessing, but all of this folds really easily and neatly. The wrinkling isn't too, too bad, and folding like this, I find, just saves the most space for me. Moving on to shoes, I'm still kind of debating whether or not I should pack two pairs of shoes or three. Right now I am thinking about everywhere I'm going to be walking and the weather. So I'm for sure gonna be packing a pair of sneakers. These are gonna be essential for walking and I will be going to the gym while I travel. So these are going to double for that. And I do have some things like meetings and more formal events for this trip. So I'm gonna be packing this pair of sock boots with this like sort of cowboy motif to them. These are such comfortable boots, which is exactly why I'm packing them because I do anticipate I will still be walking a lot of places. So I want something that looks good, but also also feels good while I'm walking, so these are coming with me for sure. I'm still debating on whether or not I'm gonna pack these boots, but if I do, I will probably wear them on the plane because they are the most chunky. These are boots I wear all the time walking around here in Toronto when it's wet and slightly snowy. 
I'm gonna be packing two layering pieces. First, I'm gonna be packing a blazer. It's basically my security blanket. If I don't have a blazer, then I don't know who I am as a person. And I'm definitely gonna need a sweater, so I'm kind of debating on whether or not I should pack this cashmere sweater from Cos or this hoodie from Cotton, which I think is gonna actually be a lot more versatile than I might think. And finally, for my single items, I'm gonna be packing one long wool overcoat. This one is super warm, but still fairly lightweight, and I think is gonna be easy to wear on places like the plane and when I'm walking around. I'm going away for 10 days, so I'm going to be packing one pair of socks and underwear for every day that I'm there, plus one extra because you never know. Two sports bras. I'm gonna pack one belt, one pair of sunglasses, and one set of pajamas. So that's everything for my clothes. Now I'm gonna move over to the next side of the suitcase, my toiletries and some electronics that I'll need to bring. I like to store my clothes on one side of the suitcase and then use the other side to pack things like my shoes. I am gonna be doing some filming while I'm there, so I'm gonna bring this really handy travel tripod, my hair straightener, I'm gonna bring my outlet converter, I'm gonna be in the UK and in Europe, so I wanna be able to charge and power my electronics. And then I'll pack my makeup bag and my Uniqlo down vest. Because it's cold, this is probably one of my best tips for traveling to colder places, cold-ish anyway, and it's to pack a wool overcoat and then a down vest like this. This one is so thin and lightweight, it smushes into itself so it gets really compact and it's easy to travel with, but I think it actually saves more space to have it open in my bag and just sort of smush it down wherever it'll fit in the suitcase. But this vest is gonna be really handy for layering, especially on colder nights, and if I wanna do things like go for a run or for a long walk in the morning, then this is going to be that really great extra layer. With my suitcase pretty much done, I'm gonna move on to my backpack. This is the Metro backpack from Monos. It is just really handy. I've been carrying it around for the past few years and I always travel with it. And in my backpack, I always carry my electronics and things that I just don't want to accidentally go missing, especially if I need to check my bag. So I'm gonna put things like my laptop, my wallet, my passport, and any electronics that I'm gonna be bringing with me. I ended up purchasing this basically catch-all electronics holder case from Amazon. On, so I'm gonna be putting things like my wireless mouse, dongles that I need, Apple Watch charger, extra SD cards, extra camera batteries and chargers. It all just fits in here really nice and organized. Plus this is waterproof, so that's really handy. I never go without my supplements, so I'm gonna be bringing 10 days worth of my AG1. I just drink one of these every single morning. I'm gonna be doing a lot of vlogging and filming while I'm away, so I'm bringing my vlog camera. This fuzzy thing is a mic. So I got this toiletry bag from Amazon where you can decant your own skincare and body care, hair care, all that kind of stuff into these reusable bottles. So I found that really handy. For the first part of the trip, I'm staying in an Airbnb and I'm not sure what kind of things are gonna be there. So I'm gonna be packing some of my own body wash, facial cleanser. And this is always an opportunity for me to use up little sample sizes or like Sephora birthday gifts on my trip. So I'm gonna be bringing these little tiny shampoos and conditioner and hair oil with me too. And then finally for my makeup bag, I like to travel light when it comes to my makeup. So a really easy hack is if you have a makeup palette, just bring that with you because it usually has everything you need. I am gonna be a little bit extra and bring a few more bits because I do like to wear cream products. So I have a few blushes and highlighters from Merit, and I'm just gonna make sure that I also pack a few of my essential makeup tools like brushes and my eyelash curler. So that's exactly how I pack for travel in a carry-on bag only, no matter where I'm going or for how long. All that ever really changes is the amount of socks and underwear I bring, let's be real. And remember, that's one for every day, plus one. If you watched the whole video and you got some value from it, leave me a plain emoji in the comments and let me know where you're traveling next. Thanks again to Monos for sponsoring this video, and don't forget, you can use my code Christina Macas for 10% off your next order. I'll leave it down below for you. As always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm gods. It helps me out so much more than you may think. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Safe travels, bye.